Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mimi if you guys are new here and if you're not new, welcome back. So today's video is a unboxing and I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but I'm super excited to share with you guys today what I got and it's from Cartier. So I just wanna say that this is a gift from my family. So I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got and this was super unexpected, but I literally have the best parents ever. Like I, I'm literally over the moon right now. I don't want to talk too much and make this video super long because I know people just want to see the unboxing. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have a more like real unboxing on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. Um, I'll link my Instagram down below and on the screen here for you guys. Here's the little stamped wrapped up. Here is the, oh, the receipt card here. Has like all the information in there. Here's the authenticity card. I opened it up to make sure everything was in order. So here's that. And that was like stamped with the little um, wax as well. And here is the box. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I don't want to put this on the ground because I feel like Callie's gonna try to crawl into it. But here is the box. Beautiful. When you open it, looks like this and it opens up right here and this is my first bracelet from Cartier actually I only own rings from them all right guys so here's the box and you press a little button and it opens up and this is my new bracelet it's the Justin Clue in yellow gold I did get the small version and there's a whole reason behind that so I'll go ahead and talk about that for a second so I wanted something that I was able to stack with um, and make it look a little bit more dainty so I tried on my best friends just include like a couple years ago and I knew like from then on like I do want to get the smaller version because it's just a little bit more daintier and it's just a lot like nicer to stack I feel like the just include when you get like the bigger one I feel like it's just so thick that like you kind of have to like wear it alone a little bit or you can't really wear it like stacked with multiple things so that's why I went with the smaller version there's like a little hook back here so let me go ahead and pull that out All right. let me go ahead and take this bracelet out for you guys to see alright so here is the bracelet and I also have the ring this one is in pink gold so I got yellow gold for the bracelet. So the reason why I got yellow gold is because I knew I wanted to get other like gold bangles and stuff like that, gold jewelry. So I wanted something that would like blend a little bit better. I don't regret getting my Justin Clue and Pink Gold though because it's just so small you can't really tell the difference. And even if I wore it together, like from far away, you can't even like notice too much of a difference. So I'm totally okay with getting the bracelet and the ring like in different um, metals. So that's just me though. Um, my aunt told me that I should have gotten it in pink gold to match the ring, but I don't really care about that. If I do want to get another one of these in the future, I would get it in pink gold, but I don't think this is something that I need duplicates of. I feel like once you have one of these, you don't really need another. And the reason why I went with the Justin Clue, well, there's multiple reasons why I went with the Justin Clue instead of the love bracelet. And that is because putting it on is so easy. It's bendy like this. So you just literally put it on so fast, so easy. Put it on and off. You don't need to screw anything. And I feel like it's just so unique, the little nail design. I just love the way it looks. So the bracelet size that I got is T16 and they said this was the perfect size because it doesn't turn like this because they said if I went bigger it would like swivel around and that it gives enough room so that if I do stack it has you know room to move around to stack some more. So I really like that. Oh my god I love it so much. This is like the prettiest bracelet. I love that it's like when you see it, like you know it's Cartier. So the reason why I didn't get the love bracelet and I went with this one is because I feel like this one is so unique and the style is really different. And the love bracelet, even though it's iconic to Cartier and it's really beautiful, I feel like I'd rather take the money for that bracelet and then go get a bracelet that has diamonds in it that I can customize or something and wear it with this one rather than wearing another bracelet that has like no diamonds, it's just gold. 
I just felt like this bracelet was better for my lifestyle because I don't want to be fussing with a bracelet having to screw it on and off. This one is so easy. You put it on and then you just take it off so fast. Literally two seconds and I really like that about this. And I heard the larger version, I don't know if they fixed it, but I heard that the um, bracelet comes off sometimes and people have like lost their bracelets or they've fallen. So I feel like this one's just really secure, but it's super easy to take on and off. So if you guys are interested in a bracelet that's not really fussy, but has a unique design, I feel like this one is the way to go for sure. And I'm super thankful. I literally have the best parents ever. Like I was not expecting this, especially since my mom has been passing down jewelry to me. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that my mom has been giving me like pieces of jewelry every year, like from her personal collection, so I could start wearing it and enjoy it as well. So I wasn't expecting to get something um, that was a jewelry piece brand new because I was like totally happy with just getting like stuff from my mom because they're like you know they're special they have like a lot of value in terms of like sentimental value I actually didn't really have anything on my wish list this year for my birthday because I feel like with everything that I have I haven't been able to enjoy everything as much but this is something that I can definitely wear a lot more than my bags uh, because I feel like when you wear a bag, I don't want to change it out every day, but on my days off, I definitely can wear this and feel a little bit more dressed up and just add to it. But I don't know if I will get the love bracelet. I have to see like how often I wear bracelets and I think this is a good like starting point for me because this is so easy to take on and off and I can see from there like if I'm going to wear bracelets more often or if I want to go and um, get a bracelet made or something for my uncle's friends because my uncle used to work in that um, in that industry so he has like connections still with like wholesale diamonds and stuff so I'm really interested in that and I'm going to learn so much from my uncle and I really want to see like more about that and I don't know my uncle told me that this should be my last piece of Cartier and I should start investing my money into like solid gold pieces with diamonds and stuff like that from jewelers and if this is the last piece that I own from Cartier like I think I'd be so happy with that because this with any other bracelet stacked with it would look so good I feel like jewelry is something that lasts so much longer than bags but I'm really excited to learn more about jewelry for my uncle and also like you know getting better prices for jewelry as well because who doesn't want to save some money especially with expensive jewelry and stuff so as I go on with my journey with that if I learn new things or anything that can help you guys I definitely will share that with you in future videos but anyway thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye everyone mm -hmm.